And what's these ones right here? So these are all different sorts of rims. I got the big Madagascar. I got some or Craig Sasson Columbians in there. And we got some both Lonnie's. Just basically all of that. Today we are here at the pet stop. We're going to be doing a water testing. We're going to be showing you guys how to do your own water testing on your fish tanks. So just stand by and we're going to get right into this video. What's up everybody? If you're new to the channel, I'm Anthony. I'm sitting here at Weddington Aquatics. Make sure you give us a like, comment, and subscribe. Today's video we're going to be showing you how to do a water test on your fish tank at home. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, go down here to the pet store. Um, they're going to test the water for me, but they have a lot of really cool tanks. So I'm going to show you guys around to their tanks first, and then we're going to go ahead and get this water tested. So bear with me, stay tuned, make sure you give us a like, comment, and subscribe for me. All right, guys, we are here at my lo local pet store. It's called the Pet Stop down here in Kansas City, Kansas, where we are going to go in here and do a water testing. These guys are in here. They're really cool. They're really nice. I like going and talking to these people. So we're going to go in here and find Mr. Greg, and Greg's going to show us how to do a water testing. Let me back up. Look at that colors. Look at those. That's a that's the a scissor. So which one are you looking at? The the one with the scissor tail. The Those are roseline sharks. Okay. Or uh, Denison barbs is another name for them. And what's these ones right here? So these are all different sorts of rims. I got the big Madagascar. I got some or Greg Sasson Columbians in there. Then we got some both Ronies. Just basically all of the rainbows. Tried to put like a pair of each. Those are Parkinsonis. Oh, that's a nice color. I like that color. Yeah, a lot of that stuff doesn't color up inside like the tank. We're always digging at it. Put them in a tank like this where you don't, you're not digging it all the time. And everything colors up really well. Oh man, yeah, those are beautiful fish. Yeah, like that's all this stuff right here. Just like I said, it's all little and give it time to grow out and get used to a tank. It all colors up really well. They get much bigger than that right there. Yeah, that, I mean, most of these will get four or five inches to them, so a lot of these guys are pretty full grown. Oh, wow. Like these are the That's not bad. Yeah. These are the trifasciata. I really like them. Yeah, no, we got some rainbows that stay a lot smaller than neons. Uh -huh. They only get a couple inches to them. Get some real nice red on the fins if they're a male, and then when they hit the light just right, it's a bright blue shimmer to them. Oh, that's awesome. Once you feed them, they turn. Uh, I gotta go at it. I'm gonna hit these front toes too because they're gonna be mad if I don't. Look at that. That was so neat. Was that albino? Albino Oscar? Just massive. So, we are here with Greg. He is the owner here at the Pet Stop. We are going to be doing a water testing, so we're going to be showing you how to do this that. This is Greg. He's the owner of the Pet Stop here. He's going to be showing us how to do a water uh, a water test. Uh, he has a couple of different setups here. He has the actual drops. He has the actual drops. And then he has the, the dunk strips, right? That's what these are. Yeah. These are easy strips, so we're going to try to see if we could do one of each. Yeah. All right. So the liquids test for three different things. You have ammonia, which is a two-part reagent. You have pH, and you have nitrite. Those are the most critical ones that we always look at. There's other tests available, but these are the ones that concern me the most. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to fill the vial to the, to the, the I think it's five milliliter level on all of our vials. I just let you guys know this is my own fish tank water. This came from my house. So the ammonia has two part reagents, so you get bottle one, and it says on the bottle that you put eight drops in. So we're going to do eight drops. Okay. There's eight. 
is a little bit of a shake. Then we do eight drops of the second reagent and number two reagent. Okay. Now this one takes about a minute to two to set up before the color changes. pH and nitrite are pretty much instant, so the pH requires three drops. Two, three. Yeah, a little extra one on the outside, but that won't hurt anything. And then nitrite is five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just sit a second. I'm going to get the color cards and show you how to wind that up. Color cards. So this would be for pH. This would be your nitrite. And this would be your ammonia. So we just, once they set for a couple of minutes, we line them up on the color cards and that would tell us what part per million that we're reading on those. Okay. And you said it only takes about, what, three to five minutes for it to... Uh... These set up almost instant. instantly. This one takes about one to two minutes, generally. Oh, okay. Another method would be the, the, the dip strips. Um, so you just remove one from the, the jar. You just want to completely cover the whole strip. Do not shake it or anything. And then we've got our color chart built on the label of the bottle. And we will line it up there to get our readings. Oh, well, that's pretty easy. I might have to grab some of those today. Super easy. The nice thing, though, they're super easy and fast, and they work really well, but they don't incorporate ammonia generally, so you'll still want to do that on a separate kit, and they're a little more expensive than the drop kits. But... Okay. There's one other method I'll show you, too. Oh, you want me to follow you or just wait? I'll bring it back. Okay. So, so far, as you can see, we're looking pretty good so far. Nitrates, where I want it to be. Ammonia. Seekin makes what they call one year combo alert, and that gives you an ammonia kit test and a pH test. These stick on the inside of your aquarium, and whatever color that dot turns, you read it onto the color wheel, and that will give you a full year of everyday testing your water. Really? Yeah. Super cool. And they just suck the cup on the inside of your tank. They have them separate for pH, separate for ammonia, or they have the one that concludes both. Oh, so wow. For $19.99, you can monitor all both. All year long? For a year, yep. Oh, that's awesome. Really so... If you guys, if you guys see these, I, I'm definitely going to pick up one of the year, oops, sorry. Okay. I'm definitely going to pick up one of these year long ones today. But as you can tell, definitely go out to your local pet store and make sure you pick up some of these. Um, I didn't even know these existed. So we're definitely going to get this one today. Uh, there no, I no, go. Knocking stuff over, making a mess. We are going to go ahead and thank Greg for his time down here at the pet stop. Make sure you guys come down. Uh, we're down here in the Kansas City, Kansas area. If you know where that is, make sure you stop on in. And all their uh, all his employees here are very friendly. They're very knowledgeable. So make sure you guys stop on down. Greg, if you want to add anything? Oh, feel free to stop in whenever you can. If you have questions, reach out. Number is 913-268-6065. All right. Thanks again, Greg. We really do appreciate you. So I hope you guys made it to the end of this video. I want to give a huge shout out to Greg and down there at Pet Stop for helping me out and testing my own water. Um, big ups to those guys. Awesome fish tanks. If you made it to the end of this video, make sure you give a like, comment, and subscribe down there at the bottom. And until next time, peace. I'll get ran all through the face when they get excited. Like that big guy right there starting to. Oh, yeah. Get a real dark red through the face when they get excited. Oh, that's so neat. Four inches, that's not bad. Yeah, the problem is that. This one is perfect. Yeah. Oh, they got a nice color to them, too. Mm -hmm. They only get about four or five inches. They don't mess with any of the smaller typically. They're even about detecting this stuff.